I got problems on problems on problems on problems on problems on problems I solve them. I run through the money, the press will be calling. What is up, YouTube family? It's been a minute since we've talked. Life has gotten kind of busy. Um, did we really take two weeks off? We love doing this YouTube channel, but the reality of it is that it takes a tremendous amount of time to be able to produce the videos that we produce for you each week. So today I'm starting this video solo because the rest of my family? Not here. It's stone silent in the house. That's because it's the end of a school semester. We're all involved somehow in education, and right now is one of the busiest times of the year. Since the last time that we were together, a whole bunch of things have happened. The Battle of Winterfell. Our lawn has had to be mowed two times. So we've been inundated with rain. Our family's been hit with a tidal wave of allergens. We've survived influenza A. We've gone to a Royals game and froze our butts off. Calder has played more baseball. Tegan has won more medals in forensics and is competing in states. Karen and I have been busting our butts at work. I got a new pair of shoes. We've watched a ton of Red Sox baseball. We have been caught in an astronomical whirlwind of life and producing our, our vlog has struggled. In a future episode, we're gonna to talk to you about the realities and challenges of vlogs and why you really probably shouldn't start a vlog unless you really love making vlogs because it is hard. But for this episode, we wanted to take you on a tour of our house, show you a little bit of behind the scenes. We have a couple behind the scenes episodes coming up. Um, this one is all about what our house looked like when we came to visit Kansas City two years ago when we were thinking about moving here. We are still deciding between here and Philadelphia as potential next homes for the towns and family. One of the big obstacles to seeing ourselves here was figuring out where the heck we could live. We started looking really close to the city, in the city, and slowly had to expand our search outward until we ended up in the suburbs of Kansas because that was where we could find things that we could both A, afford, and B, see ourselves living in. This house did not look the way it looks on camera right now now when we first saw it. So we're gonna take you on a rapid fire tour of some of the key spaces that you see inside of our vlog and what they look like before we got here and how we've transformed them to begin to be our home. Now, we are still working on transforming this thing because we are budget conscious. We are working slowly over time to transform the house into the home that we want it to be, tackling the biggest things that we could do first. The kitchen behind me is one of those big projects. It was one of the big ticket items that we said we must absolutely do because it is literally the center of our house. It is the heart that beats inside of this space and everything flows out of it. All right, since we're talking about it anyway, let's start in the kitchen, come on. off screen. We're both kind of in uh, morning loungewear, unshowered, drinking coffee again. It's a Sunday morning. This is being shot out of sequence from everything else. But this is the first side by side. We're standing in the after, I think, over here is the before? Over there is the before. So this is what we did to this side of the kitchen. We took the cabinets all the way to the top and then made sure- a moment. We got all this stuff inside of here. It goes all the way up there. We got the same thing on the other side. Can you even see me over here? Yeah, I'm in there somewhere. But with spices and stuff over here. By now you've seen some of these things in some of the videos, but this is angle number one. Let's look at the other angle. Just me? I can't even see the, I can't even see the screen now. I don't even know if I'm in here. screen it's because you can't see the screen. This angle is really hard to recreate <laughs> because when we made the kitchen we made more cabinets and so it goes a little further that way than whoever took the real estate photos. But this is the other angle, our fun backsplash over here and you can see that it's totally different now. That copper that is back there is kind of all gone now. Which is good. I didn't like that copper. I don't like the copper either. Should we show them some of the cool stuff over here? Yeah we have these awesome drawers. They're all, I mean. Or drawers, not from New Jersey. But to me it's a drop. And Soft. we don't do microwaves, so down, I don't even know if that's in the shop. Let me go see if that's I in the shop. you can see this, I'll Hannah White it though. Yeah, it's in the, it is in the shop. Hannah White moment. We so, are not microwave people, hence 
we hit our toaster oven. When did we pop in? Oh, I didn't turn it. Okay, this is the other part. Used to be eat at countertop and eat in kitchen. That was too many places to eat for our taste. Yeah, this, this audio is gonna sound awful from here. I just realized that. It's gonna be all echoey. I think it'll be fine. You guys like that. I appreciate food and drink. My taste is better reflected in the company I keep. That's our guest appearance. That's our little Amazon friend making a guest appearance. It's true. So, <laughs> we got rid of the weird peninsula thing that divided the space. We have no more dining room tables. Now we have eight seats across this island. It's an island and a continent. I think time. it's technically, what, 14 feet long? It's 15 feet long and 54 inches deep. Yeah, we like to cook. This made all the difference. Like, we live in this space and our living room. Here's what you missed while we're off screen. I made another coffee because I was moving slow and I got in trouble for making this process so long. I'm not moving yet. It's Sunday. I don't need to. Well, your back is to the camera now, dude. I love you. Come on, Peter McKinnon it. <laughs> What's up, everybody? What's up, everybody? I can't Peter McKinnon it or else I'll, I'll spill my coffee. And we know Peter wouldn't want me to spill my coffee. Here's side by side of our living room. Uh, biggest, one of the hugest changes in here, um, and actually in the kitchen too, is that all of the old oak we painted out white which really transformed this huge space. You can see by the fireplace, I'm gonna go over here and point it out. This will be our next home improvement project. Piles to be installed, super awesome. So we'll show you that in the next episode, but we're planning it out, we're making sure we like it. I think we're also gonna have, when we do our, we're gonna do that. Oh, and we're gonna paint. Yeah, we have a video that we're making that's like five uh, really big transformations that you can make with only paint, and we're gonna use all our leftover paint. We're not even gonna buy any more paint, and we're gonna, the wall that you can't see, this one over here. This one with the TV. Is gonna get a, a really big dynamic paint treatment as well. So this room's gonna keep changing. Yeah. Oh, here's that wood. So you can see the wood all the way around is all painted out yeah, to white. Yeah, all, all this stuff, all these window casings, door casings. Um, all of these used to be oak, so when you look at that before picture, that's something that really transformed this space, is painting all that wood out white. Our kitchen in Boston was pretty good too, but one of the things that's really crazy about this space is that like our downstairs, the area that you'll see, we'll do one quick fly through before this is all over, but this downstairs area is like the size of almost our whole condo in Boston. Of the whole main floor of our condo in Boston. This whole house is twice the size of our condo. Right. So, the main floor here. I thought you meant just these three spaces. I miss other, I'm drinking more coffee, so the my whole, understanding happens. The whole downstairs is about the size, when you add up all the square footage of this floor, is very close to the whole square footage of our entire place in Boston. And our kitchen was pretty big in Boston, but not this big. No, we bought, we really bought our Boston condo because the kitchen was awesome. Yeah, and this place had the potential for an awesome kitchen. It did. I think that's something we're really good about that we should maybe like just hit upon for a second in this in this video. Is I think the one thing that we both tend to do is we can walk into a space and really see it for its potential, not the state that it's in now, because we understand paint transforms a space. Um, minor design choices change a space. And so for us, one of the first things we do is we wanna make sure the layout feels good and the thing that sold us on this house was we love these big open spaces and we loved all the light. And so we really could see and understand that what that would look like when we change colors and when we change window fixtures. And Karen and I have a really good sort of shorthand. We can talk back and forth and we know what's going on, but like when we wanted to design this kitchen, we did take on the role of kitchen designers for this thing. Mm -hmm. Uh, we took a photograph, and now we'll cut to that while we continue talking, and we drew, I drew over it in my iPad while Karen and I talked and brainstormed and came up with yeah. what we wanted, and that's what we took to Lowe's. We ended up every single thing in this kitchen, from tiles to countertop to every single cabinet was all on sale and all available to buy. Um, all the cabinets ended up coming from Lowe's. We were looking at like high-end European kitchens, 
And then we were looking at Ikea and we were like, no, we're not gonna buy an Ikea kitchen in this house, but Ikea has some really great functionality. And so we drew up this dream and we took it in to Lowe's and we met Stephanie who was awesome and helped us figure all the, the problem out. We ended up using two different cabinet manufacturers to do this, to get the look that we wanted, the thing that she and I drew up. Um, Stephanie helped us make it into reality. She showed us the exact cabinets that we could get. We got really close to the way we initially drew yeah, it. Really close. Let's, let's quick, let's do the quick cuts office, side by side. Totally different looking. And look, we're working on this episode right now. Dining room? Two shots of the dining room. And then we'll wrap this whole thing up and we'll get out of here and we'll see you again next week. Sounds good. All right, let's do this. Hey Maddie, are you happy? We did an episode for you. And I just wanna explain what happens in this household. I'm sort of a neat freak. Okay, we're both sort of neat freaks. I might just be elevated one notch. You're definitely elevated a notch above me. This is the take your crap upstairs pile, which somehow our kids just walk past all the time and crap still stays there. If your parents do this, it means take your shit to your room. Get it out of their space. Okay. What if, at the end of every episode, we did a quick little recipe the way we did in the very first episode that we posted? I thought it was kind of fun to end every episode with a little tiny recipe. Something quick, simple, easy. Not a whole huge cooking episode every time, because those are ridiculously hard to do, but maybe something a little simpler, a little shorter, a little sweeter. What do you think? Talk to us, please. We miss you. Use the comments below. There's a little button. You can add your voice to this conversation. And if you comment or like, we may even talk about you in the next episode. Like we can talk about Joe and Maddie, who we know are watching. We know that Matt and Sarah often watch. We know that Jeff and Kristen, or at least Kristen, I'm not totally sure about Jeff. We know Lori and Binghamton. We know that my mom and dad, we know that Mike and JD and Owen are watching with regularity. There's a bunch of you out there that we know, but we don't know unless you message us. It's kind of reassuring, it's reaffirming. Yeah, producing the videos is fun, but knowing that the things that you are saying are being heard is fantastic. And getting something back from throwing this stuff out into the internet makes it feel like all this work is worth it. So lend your voice to this conversation. We'd love to hear from you. Yeah, did you notice? Boom! I got a new pair of shoes. I think I have a problem. <laughs>